Hello class, in this video I'm going to do exercise 8.19. This is from a series of exercises in which you're supposed to decide whether or not these patterns of inference are valid or invalid, and then you have to support your answer. So if you think the pattern is valid, then what you're going to have to do is give, end up giving a Fitch proof, a formal proof of it, and if you think that it's invalid, you're going to have to give a counterexample. The first thing you have to do then, like when you look at 8.19, is to decide whether it's valid or not. That might not be trivial, or you might be able to just think about it. Sometimes it's helpful, for example, uh, to think about other logical equivalences that you know. So from A arrow B and not B, can I infer not A or not? Well, if you think about the contrapositive of this, A arrow not B, the contrapositive of that is not B arrow A. So there I have the antecedent not B as well, so I can infer not A. Indeed, this does seem to be valid. If you can't figure that out, of course, there are other things that you could do. For example, I put it into a bool truth table for you here. Um, so here, I'll just fill out the truth function for my arrow and for not B. So this would be false true, false true. Uh, now I'll just fill out not A. And I can just look. I'll just use my old method. Uh, is there any row in which the premises are both true and the conclusion false? Well, the first three rows all have a false premise, so those are irrelevant. And on the last row, the premises are both true, but so is the conclusion. So that truth table tells me definitively that it's valid. If you can't figure any of them out, you can always just um, go back to the methods that you've learned earlier in this course that can decide the matter. So now that we know the thing is valid, we know what our task is. We have to do a formal proof and fitch. Uh, remember, you have exercise files for all of these, so I just pulled this up. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start a new proof and uh, and see how I can do this. My conclusion is not A, so how am I going to um, get that out of these two premises? Well, let's look at the main connectives. My first premise is an arrow, and that's only going to help me if I can find the antecedent somewhere, so I need to find an A. My next premise is a literal, not B, so there's nothing I can apply to these. I can't do anything with these things. I need to do something else. My conclusion is not A. Well, that's a wide scope negation. Maybe I should do reductio then. Indeed, if you do a reductio, you'll notice uh, that hands me A. That's just what I wanted in the first place. So once I do uh, a subproof with A, I can infer B by arrow elim. Let's see if I can find it. Citing those two things. Uh, now I have uh, a contradiction because B and not B contradict each other. So I know A cannot be the case. So now I'll just write my contradiction symbol with contradiction intro setting those two things uh, and I'm done so I can end my subproof now and just get my conclusion which is going to be not a and that of course is a reductio so it's negation intro setting that okay everything looks good now I can just turn this into grade grinder thanks